Hi folks, um, I'm going to do my first on-camera cash stuffing that I've done in at least two years or so. Um, so forgive me in advance for any um, cock-ups, uh, miscalculations, putting things in the wrong bucket, bad video, bad audio, bad this, that and the others. <laughs> I'm getting it all out of the way up front. So a um, little bit of a recap I have already done a stuffing um, in the last week or so, but it's been a little bit sort of um, taking out a little bit of money from my savings just to sort of get this underway. This is the first week where I'm doing a proper stuffing of the various different categories. So I've got my um, weeklies, my 10,000K um, home stroke mortgage stroke, you know, uh, big long-term savings, Christmas, travel, some savings challenges, and then my sort of monthly kind of um, whatever's as well. So that's the plan to stuff 500 pounds this week. So um, I've just gone to the to the cash teller so let's just do a quick and um, you know folks i'm not one of these ones that can do this um properly you know uh whatever i can't <laughs> i can't count money the same way everybody else does i'm such a numpty hang on let me try it hang on what do you do 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 2 20 40 60 83 don't talk too soon 20 40 60 i say 60 80 4 20 40 60 80 95 i told you i would get so far and then i would uh, I'd, I'd overthink it and go for it so anyway now the only other thing i have is um a couple of things i've got a 20 pound float for coins and changing things up and then I also have in one of my binders which one is it I think it's this one here I should also have um the the re rem blah, 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 remnants so the other 80 pounds of a float again to change things up get things to the bank so between them I have a float of um, 100 pounds just for sort of condensing at the time getting change and that sort of thing okay so that's the only other thing that I'm working um, with but I should always have 100 pounds whatever denominations I should always have 100 pounds left if that makes sense okay so let's start again I've only just started this so the only thing I've really used this week is groceries and even then it wasn't too much just a little top up um so let me get my receipts out so i've got 20 35 and i've got 150 76 one pound 76 which i'll put into my little dish so 20 35 i'm supposed to be adding 25 so, hang on, what am I doing? Oh my God, I don't even know what I'm doing. 20, 30, but put five back. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Um, so that will be 20, 40, 50, 60. I'm trying to eat mainly meat and vegetables this week. And there aren't any great offers on in Tesco. I have a Tesco's down the end of my street. Um, and there aren't any great offers on, on the meat at the moment. So a little bit more expensive. So petrol, I am putting in only five. And again, I'm going to condense as I go because I'll probably need these five. So I'll take the ten out and put five. Or put the tick of five out and put ten in. Gosh, I'm so articulate on this about this. Fun money I'm putting in, again, I'm sort of building some of this up so I can do a better kind of um, condense at some point. So £10 is going in, so I'll take put 20 in and take 10 out. 
unplanned this is my buffer i know everybody has a buffer so i call it unplanned and um, i'm putting in another 10 so i'll put in 20 and take that 10 out coffee isn't getting anything i've got 10 pounds in there my plan is so there's a thing i'm trying to do which is basically um i haven't got a I haven't got a category for it yet, but I'm planning at some point to pay myself because it's the only thing that's going to work. I'm going to plan to pay myself to walk 30 minutes every day. And if I walk 30 minutes every day, I can pay myself five pounds. If I can do that, then I can put it into coffee and I can get a, a really nice coffee. There's a beautiful little coffee shop run by this really lovely um i think he's mexican i used to think he was italian he's trying to speak italian to him actually i think he's mexican so i've been a complete idiot <laughs> on that front uh trying to speak italian to, to someone who speaks spanish but anyway he obviously speaks perfect english and but he runs this beautiful little coffee shop just around the corner from me and they do a really nice chai latte so I'm going to try and build that up so that I can get a coffee after the walk and earn the reward, as it were. Okay, so that's the um, that's the weekly sorted. Woohoo! I'm going to have to do something about these. That might not be the best way of doing it with all these envelopes. But anyway, weekly some. Oh, and the other thing I've done is, remember I told you, everybody, if you've been reading my... Um, or watching my latest run of videos, I've been doing a big splurge. But one of the things I've done is this. I've bought myself a Kipling bag. Now, it's their sort of medium crossbody, I think it is, it's called. I'm more of a backpack person. I'm, I've got a very professional ha laptop bag, handbag kind of thing for when I've got to do any client visits. When I travel, I've got a backpack. But when I just go out for a couple of messages, normally I only have everything packed into my phone case with my keys and whatever. And it's sometimes it's not practical with what I'm wearing. And I wanted something that would allow me a little bit of flexibility. So I thought, look, oh my God, I know you can get them on QVC for 10 fortunes and everything. But I went on to Amazon's end, Amazon anyway. And I bought this. It was probably about 45 50 pounds or something but it's waterproof it's got all the pockets you need it's got a really good thing i've got my little shopping bag in here it's got all the pockets you need and everything so i was always one of these things like you know why on earth would you get a kipling bag it's the ugliest bag in the universe <laughs> you know what i mean i know it comes with the little ape but you know it's not it's not very stylish but it's so bloody practical so anyway i'm in love with it so the Safiano goes in there and it matches. I'm using this to phone, you know, my, my phone isn't in my case because obviously I'm using my phone. But look, I didn't even realise when I bought it, um, bought the Safiano a while ago that it matches. So look at me, I'm all matchy matchy. Anyway, that's that. Right, what's next? travel so yes i said i was going to do an update on what what's happening so i've got some travel planned i've got travel october november december october i'm going to london just overnight because i want to go to the national history museum i mean literally i've gone and done a trip to london just to go to the national history museum uh, because or natural history museum natalie for goodness sake get the right word natural history museum and the science museum and all those good things because i haven't done it for about 30 odd god knows how many years and i just want to do it i pr keep promising see, i keep promising myself that i'm going to do it one day and i just did it so i've got to pay for the i've still got to pay for the hotel so i'm going to put a hundred pounds in um, for that, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Flights are already paid, um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. But I've got to pay for um, the hotel, which I think is about 200 and something. So it's a couple of nights just. 
Then I've got a trip to Rome with my mum in November. Flights and hotel are already paid for, but I've got to start saving up for the transfers and all that good stuff. And then I've got a trip in Munich where the flights are paid for, but the hotel isn't. The hotel's about 500 euro. So I'm going to be putting a lot into um, flights and stuff um, as I go through the next few weeks. Okay, so the next thing is, is my monthlies. So budget fund, obviously the most important one because I keep paying for all my goodies. So um, let me just mark some of these off. Travel I've done, budget I'm putting in 10. So I'll take 10 out and I'll put in 20. Maybe I can move this and make this. I'm standing up here doing this as well. James isn't getting anything. He's got 10 in there. Car wash is getting 10. It's it's about 15 pounds a pop. So, um, and I live in a tree lined street and my house, there's a tree right outside my house. So if I park anywhere near my house, in fact, if I park anywhere in the street, there's a constant stream of sap. So pretty much monthly, I'm going to have to wash, go, go down to the car wash and get the car done. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, don't need windows because I've got scaffolding up and the guy can't do anything with it yet. Um, and he'll owe me a couple of months as well. So I prepay. So I'm trying to get like six months of windows. So that's 35, no, 30 42 pounds will be six months of windows. So I try and do that. Um, haircut, I need a, I do need a haircut, so I'm putting another, it's about 40, 45 pounds for me. So I'm gonna put 20 pounds in, that's nearly fully funded for the next haircut. Dentist, I've got the dental hygienist in the next week or so. So I'm gonna put in 50, 20, 40 and 50. So that gives me a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30. It's about, um, oh, that's fully funded for the next one. Okay, good. So it's 70 something. Medical, I have an appointment in a few months, but I've got some money in the bank already for this. So this is almost for the next one. So I'll put 10 in. That's all done. I'm not putting any other money in for now. And that should leave. Oop, if I can get all these in. Hang on, sorry. Um, my 10K challenge. And my oh, Christmas. What are we putting in Christmas? £100 into Christmas. Okay, I'm going to sit down for this because this will take a bit of drawing. So let me choose a blue pen and uh, I've got a hundred pounds. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I will put 20 into food. Can you guys still see me am I doing this on camera? So 20 into food. Right, I just hope you guys can still see me and I haven't done anything silly since I sat down. Gift fund will get 40. So 40. So I should have 40, 70 in there now. And 20, 40, 60, 70. Wafty wafty. Who's the channel that does the wafty wafty? Let me know because I keep forgetting, but I love that. Wafty wafty. I was like, what the hell is wafty wafty? And then I realized what wafty wafty is. Um, P 
PJs is going to get 20. So, why is there already 20 in PJs and I haven't marked it off? I think I've forgotten to mark it off from the last time. Okay, right, well then that's 40 in there. Because I've got 20, 40. So pop that back in there. Oh, wafty wafty. Miscellaneous is getting nothing. Okay, so that should be everything in, that should be my hundred pounds. So what did I put in? 20, 40, 60, 80. Why is that not a hundred? Oh no. Right, hang on. I should have one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Yeah, I've put it all in. Oh, maybe I've put in Oh, maybe I've put in 20 in there and I haven't realised I've already put it in and all right, okay, well look, it's done. I'll sort it out afterwards if there's an extra 20 quid, but I don't think there is. I think I've just been silly. Right, um, 10,000k, which is my from house to home, is getting 100. So... Which ones shall I do? Right, well, there's nothing in this one. So I'll put 50 in this one. No, I'll put 60 in this one. Let's see. 20, 40, 60. Twenty, forty, sixty. And then I'll put 20 in this one. There's already 100 in there, so I'll put 20 in this one. And I'll put 20 in this one. It's a 25-week challenge, so I'm going to try and keep going as much as I can on this one, and a 20. Okay. Wafty, wafty. Okay, so that's that. That's my 10,000. And what have we got left? Savings challenge, I've got 50 quid. 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay. So I've done a few. I've got a few started. Um, oh, I'm going to do some bingo. So what have I got in bingo? Oh, bingo is here. Bingo time. So I'll get that done. So I need... Two dice. Put that there for now. So the first one is to what colour am I going for? Purple. Great. I've already got £14 in here. So, right. Oh, and then I don't, I need the 10 sided dice. That's what it is. Right. So this might be a thing where I have to go into my um, float, but we'll see. Seven. Right, I've only got 650 in change. So, okay, this is my float. I'll take five out. One, two, three, four, five. I'll put five pounds in into the float, which I'll sort out in a minute. Right, okay, so seven goes into grapevine. How did I do it in the blue one? I, I, I just scratched it. Okay. 
So that's seven goes into bingo, which is here. Woo! -hoo. Two and five is seven. Right, that's that one done. Bingo is done. Right, so what have I got left? 43. Again, I'm probably going to have to go into float. Oh, I finished charge of savings. That was my first one that I did. I did it off camera. I was just sort of getting used to doing different um, challenges and stuff. So let me put that away. So I did charge the savings and it came to 87 on this one. So I'm going to take that 87 out. And then, hey, I got these. Hey, you're going to laugh, right? This is going to be typical. Um, I bought these nail polish removers ostensibly, obviously, to um, wipe off all the Sharpies. Then I bought this nail varnish and it's, you know, like a really pretty, it was a really pretty sort of like metallic pink. And guess what? The nail polish remover doesn't remove the actual nail polish it only removes the sharpie but oh it's lovely that's grape they all they have these beautiful little scents so i got them on amazon but they're perfect for taking the sharpie stuff off so i'm going to clean this so that's that one um ooh. Oh my God, I'm making a complete mess on my desk. That's that one done. And you get about six different scents in the one. I've got blueberry and strawberry and all sorts. So it's all lovely. Right, hang on. I'm trying to get that back to white. Okay. Right, that's roughly that. Ooh, making a mess all of this show. Okay, so, um, so what I was going to do got 87 so I'm going to start this one again and where did I put my there we go all right so you need two dice you need the colored one and then this one so I take them both can you see that yeah okay so you take them both so I've got the 87 let me put that to one side 20, 40, 60, 85, and then the two is seven. So I'm gonna start this again with the 43 and the change, um, and we'll see how we go. Red six, so red six. So, oh God, where's my float? Right, okay, so now I've gotta go into my float. And <clears throat> change up. 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, put 20 in. Okay, and what I say it was a 6. And I'm just going to do it once this time. So charge the savings is getting 6. Um, and that didn't work with my thing. I think it's probably too much varnish on there so pop that in oh the smell of grape beautiful oh. i'll see if that works six So charge the savings, it's back up to six. Why have I got a fiber in there already? Oh no, I've already put the six in. That's why, because you're an idiot, Natalie. I've already put the six in. Okay. So that's six already in there. Oh my God, Natalie. Right, bangers and clash is, what's that? Five pounds a pop, so I'm gonna put a five pounds in. 
that will be 5, 10, 15, 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. I hope you're still on camera, I can't see. And what else have I got? Oh, that's from me, London. So that I was going to do this for my um, flight. So I've already put in 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to put another 20 in. So 5, 10, 15. I can't count it. Or 20. I can't go in the lines. Oh, my gosh. Right. So 10, 20, 30, 40 should be in there now. 20, 30, 40. Oh, and then money flows to me easily. This is to get you 860 eventually. So what have I got left? I've got 10 put those away okay 10 I will do a purple so I've already got 30 in here 10 20 30 40 okay that's that one done and then I've got a mini challenge where, what have I got left? I've got two pound from that. And I've got the 87 that um, anything that I get from here goes into the 10K, which I think is this one. Okay, so. But I've got four and I've got a mini challenge. So hang on, let me find my mini challenge first of all. I've got little mini challenges here. And I've got another 150. So I'm going to take... Oh, my nail's just breaking. Ah, my nail's breaking off. Right. One, two, three, four, five, fifty. Right. So I've got a fifty p one here. So fifty. You get twenty two, and then you get eleven pounds. So that's that one in there. And then I've got this one. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I'll do I'll do a different color. Let's see. Let me do the yellow one in the middle for five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then that'll be a source of float as I go through as well. That's my mini challenge. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 85. And that goes, anything that comes back out of savings challenges goes into my, um, from house to home. Okay, so let's see. Is there one of these that, does a, that has a five? This one has a five. So let me do this one first. And this one so that should have 65 in there now 20 40 65 I hope I'm still recording yes I am okay so that's 65 in there and that leaves me with 20 40 60 80 so All right, let's do this one. Let's do a 50. Have I got a, have I got a 10 in here? Yeah, I've got a 10, so let me take a 10 out. 
and then do 20, 40, 60. So let me do a 10. What did I say? I was going to do number 50, right? Okay. Okay, so I should have a hundred and I should have 120. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to take 10 there and put that there. And then I'm going to take that 10 and put that there and then that 10 20 okay so this should still be 120 20 40 60 80 110 20 and then as i get some of the major ones this is where the placeholders so i've got various placeholders so Got these ones from Budget with D. Um, I got these ones from, oh my God, I can't remember. Was it Pickle and Pud? Pickle and Pud, I think, might have given me these. I bought these ones from Pickle and Pud, which is fully funded and various different denominations. And then I've got old ones as well, which is just various different denominations as well. So as I get those, they'll go in here as I finish off these ones. Right, so what have I got left? 10, 20. So I'm going to go into my float and I'm going to exchange that 20 for an actual 20. Just so that I can reduce the number of actual notes. Right, which one am I going to do? Let's do this one. Let's just stick another 20 in that one. And I'll do a green. Okay. So that should be 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 85. And then at the end of every month, um, and I know this is a short month for me, but at the end of every month, I'll do a condensing and use, start using my placeholders so I can get things back into the bank. I've opened up a, a bonus uh, savings thing where if you put money into it and you don't take it out, you get 4%. If you ever take money out of that bonus savings in the month, you get only get 2%. So I figured things that will be more for this long-term 10K one will go into the bonus savings and that'll just keep accruing throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, I'll take it out, take it off the mortgage. Hopefully there's 10K in there. And that way it'll still have accrued the 4% interest versus the 2%. So that makes sense to me anyway. Okay, so why have I got 10 left? I've got 10 left, flip. Jeez, I've got 10 left. Right, okay. I'll just stick it in this one. Hopefully all this works. So what have I got in here? 20, 40, 60... Oh, gold. Right, hang on. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 30. Okay, so let's just stick. I'll put a brown one in for a 10. There we go. Let's just get a nice brown one in. There. Okay. Hopefully that has all worked. These will tell me in the comments if I have double counted somewhere. Okay. All right. So that's that. So the idea is the savings challenges, the small amount savings challenges, these ones roll up into the big one which is the 10k one and that's the main thing that i'm working towards over the course of a year kind of thing that's it i've done it i am apportioned out for the week thanks for watching folks love to you all take care bye